Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, I would like to say to all the members and others fighting for our children and their right to have a happy and healthy childhood, thank you. I speak in opposition of this bill because we all want our children to be safe and to have a space to navigate life without hurt or harm to them. I'm standing today because this bill will harm people that had a childhood like me growing up, one that was spent desperately finding ways to learn about themselves and to learn about themselves as a black, young black man, a young gay man, and living in a state where it sometimes felt that people did not want them there at all because of factors that they had absolutely no control over. I remember going to my school library looking for books when healthy conversations with my loved ones were not always available or always comfortable. I was not looking for porn. I was not looking for materials that were perverted or materials that would make anyone feel bad about the history of this country when it comes to the race relations that took place. What I was looking for was materials that spoke to me and for stories of the people who came before me. I was going to those libraries to do exactly what I went to school for, and that was to learn, to grow up with a healthy perception of who I was and what I wanted to be as a little boy and eventually who I wanted to be as the man that God made me to be. I can wholeheartedly agree that no one wants pornographic or vulgar materials in the hands of our children. However, uh, according to the very case that was re referenced, Pico versus Board, the board could not restrict the availability of books in its libraries simply because its members disagreed with the ideal content. You can disagree with two men kissing, but that is not obscene. You can disagree with the stories about sexual assault, but that is not harmful materials to a child that does not have the language to describe to them what happened when an adult who was supposed to protect them touched them. You cannot disagree with the history of racism and sl you can disagree with the history of racism and slavery in this country, but members, it still happened. And so today, I am asking for you to please stand against this bill and to please understand the damage it will do to children in this state if we allow this to pass. Thank you so much.